So when you first arrive to school, you're going to be lining up outside the courtyard. When you look down, you'll see that there are blue markers spaced two meters apart so you can socially distance as you wait to enter. There'll be a member of staff on the gate. As you walk in to the right, you will see a hand sanitizer. Now you don't need to touch anything, it works off a sensor. So you'll have that first opportunity to sanitize your hands as you can see Miss Abbott Jones doing there. As you walk round, you'll see the sign, okay? And you will be using the staircase to the right hand side or on the other side of the building, the staircase to the left hand side to go upstairs. These are one way stairs. You can see from the signs that these are up only. Once you get to the top of the stairs, you can't go up to the second floor. That is out of bounds. Instead, you walk through the double doors. You will turn right and you will stay to the left at all times in the corridor. You're gonna be walking straight to wash your hands because every time we enter the building, the first thing that we're going to do is go and wash our hands. So you can see Miss Abbott Jones walking down the corridor, staying to the left. You'll notice that that glass staircase and some of the classrooms are no entry areas. Miss Abbott Jones is using the female toilets. On the floor, you'll see there are places to stand. If there is a queue, these are two meters apart, so we've got socially distanced queuing. There's nobody lining up at the moment, so Miss Abbott Jones goes and stands on the correct spot, okay, and washes her hands. Now have a look at her hand washing technique. This is really important, 20 seconds, okay, but this is very good technique from Miss Abbott Jones. Her thumbs, her wrists, between her fingers, okay, making sure there's plenty of soap, and then she'll be doing a final rinse. At any one point, there will only be two people using these hand basins, so we are socially distancing whilst washing our hands. Now you'll notice there's no dryers in action. So dryers are switched off, that's for hygiene reasons. reasons. Instead, it's a paper towel straight into the bin with the flappy lid. Okay, and that's the safest way to dispose of those hand towels. Now Miss Abbott Jones, is walking back round to her assigned class, staying to the left at all times. The corridor should not be too busy. She finds the correct room, walks in, and she'll be able to see the member of staff waiting for the one-to-one. -one. Look at the chairs. The chairs are facing outwards. That means that's a chair and table that you can use. The chair and table is picked up. Okay, table put to the side of the yellow line. Chair sat down so you're facing each other without the table between you. Phone is out because year 12s you'll be using your phone to take notes. And then you are going to have your one-to-one -one session. Once that is finished, you're going to pick up your chair and you're going to put it back facing the other way around. And you'll take the table and put it back, okay? And the chair is now in facing the other way so other people know that that table and chair has been used. You'll go out, okay? And the downstairs are the opposite set of stairs that you came up. So the downstairs, okay, will take you out towards the playground. So you'll be walking around, keeping to the left at all times. No entry down those stairs. Okay. Down those middle staircase, down only. Obviously, you can't go up to the second floor. We're not using that. So you're going down the stairs. Take a left. Out into the key stage three playground. And that is the only way you can exit the school. So this gate out the key stage free playground is the only way you can exit the school. That will be the same, whether it's the one-to-ones or whether you're in for teaching classes and then you leave the school. That's that.